Hello everybody, it's SD Matt Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the Object 777 version 2. This is one of the most recent tier 9 premium tanks that were added to the game. Along with that, I am not impressed with how this thing is set up in the slightest. So, in traditional World of Tanks fashion, let's go ahead and just show off what this thing is. Object 777 version 2. So just to make it easier for everybody, we're just going to be calling it the 777. <laughs> just because a thousand times easier than anything to, to be on dot. But starting off, 258 center pin, 340 heat pin, 68 millimeters of high explosive. Those high explosives are not that bad at all. View range at 380. It is lacking just a little bit, but that's not where it's lacking the most. Now, oh, I'm very disappointed with this tank. There's a couple things that we'll be uh, going over. So, the vision, well, version 2, the vision's not bad, 380, but the turret, 16 degrees of rotational speed. Along with that, 5 degrees of gun depression. Now, there's something that I would really love to show off. So, gun traverse... Turret Traverse. Turret Traverse and Console, 16 degrees. Compared to PC with their 27. Not just that. On PC, it's got 6 degrees of gun depression. I don't know why they hit this thing so hard. So yeah, right out the front, 6 degrees all around. While on Console, all we have is 5. So, yeah, that's always fun. And no, go away ads. No one likes you. The back is considered space armor, so if they do hit you in the back of the turret with the space armor in the way, it is additional armor, but it still doesn't really want to block shells. Now, the way that this tank is, when side scraping, very difficult to pin. Extremely difficult to pin. Now we can do a comparison, let's say, uh, console, we're going to be going up against a lot of 10s, so we'll just go up against this. So, right there, we had the 303 base pin from the IS-7 going up against this boy. From the front, this is with premium ammunition. Even, let's say, if you manage to get hull down, max out your gun depression. But, 5 degrees. I'm struggling with this. Why am I struggling with this? Why am I struggling with this? Okay, you know what, 5.1. Alright, so this is just 0.1 off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Still holds up pretty well. <laughs> but that's against 303. And now let's say you're going up against... I'm having fun with this. Okay, so it's it's got to be Russian. You got to be up against the Russians. 268 version 5 against its ridiculous penetration. Okay, so 100% chance on the side there. Absorbed, absorbed, absorbed. It's got some... Honestly, there's still a lot of red on this. I mean, the lower plate, of course, that's a weak spot. But just with all the red that it has. Now, if you're coming around a corner, don't face them directly. Just kind of give yourself a slight angle as you're backing up. Just to give you the gun in the way against the armor. The way you can pop out. Get your view range poking your hatch around the corner. But still have all of this amazing armor. So, we're going to be playing a couple of matches inside... The Object 777 version 2, also known as the 777. And yes, that came from me, the 777. We've been calling it that for a minute now because we were all sitting there like, oh no, it's a 277, but wait a minute, we're not in 10. It's a, it's a 9, but we're all screwing up. Also, I did take a break for about a week. I've been rocking out Mass Effect and playing the multiplayer in Mass Effect, and that's just because, well... It's, it's that time, again, you know, it's coming out May 14th is a legendary edition, and I am beyond stoked. Like, I don't know if you guys like Mass Effect, but I love Mass Effect so much. Now, the 777, there is an advantage on console that PC does not have. Of course, yes, we have a massively debuffed traverse speed on the turret, but 
we do have 100 more horsepower to the engine, which makes our power to weight a lot better. And to increase the turret traverse speed, I'm using... I can't remember the perk's name, but we'll go after... We'll go over the crew after this match. But I'm also running the fuel for the 10% additional traverse speed. I do believe it's rapid aim that gives us the extra turret traverse speed. But I'm not 100% sure. I could be completely off. I, I have, this is my first day back and actually playing a match in a minute. But, you know, it's always nice to take a break. And I gotta say, since I've been back, I love what they did with all the tanks. Actually, seeing the tank above his name, seeing the gamer tag, I, I don't mind seeing the gamer tag, but just being able to see the tank and actually know what I'm looking at helps out a lot. So even though our track traverse speed is just a little bit less compared to what it is on PC, it's not that bad. Honestly, no tanks on console are equal to what they are on PC. So, in return, it does match what we are going up against. It's not bad. It's really not. But just the turret traverse speed really just put it in for me, saying this is not the greatest. This is not. It's, it's a pain. I like the tank a lot, but at the same time, just can't stand what they did to the turret. It just, it hurts so much. But with the 340 premium pen, this thing can really get rocking. 258 standard, 122, meaning that you can overmatch 40 millimeter plates. And, well, you know what, with the way the armor's set up, as long as you're playing on the move correctly, you should be alright. Okay, 140, how are you today? I hope, please do not push me, do not push me. No, it's behind me! Oh, 121. Alright, so we're gonna flip, probably get shot in the rear. No, we're not, okay. Our entire team went around the backside. Oh no, why am I doing this? So many mistakes. And that shot into the side. That was into the side of the turret. Oh no. How much health you got? Why is it still locked onto the 121? 408? Alright, you are the target. Yes. 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 Absorb those heat rounds. Block them. Get in the way of the light tank. Do not let him through. No. <laughs> well, uh, we're we're gonna have to do another one. That that wasn't that good. Um, um, artillery's on the run, and on Abby, you know, you you always want tanks to head over down the right side, and no one went to the right side, so the middle was taken over. Everyone up here, it's now just a big fat cluster of just, ugh, yeah, okay. Well, let's just go back to the garage. And match number two. Okay. Yes. I sat there for a moment, but we're on the move. You guys can probably tell I'm a little bit off today. It's because I am. Oh, look, more tens. <laughs> Dude, no comment. Jesus, none. Overall, my absolute opinion on the triple seven this thing is just it's extremely hard to play because you're, you're so used to like some tier eights that have got better turret speed why am i going left that is not the way to go all right you know what we are directionally inclined today yep directionally Ooh, it's encounter all right positions that we are gonna help oh, birds try to get to Overall, it's not a bad tank. Overall, it's not a good tank. And last but not least, the turret. One of the biggest disadvantages to this turret, and the reason why it's taken me so long to get this review out, is just because I would get up against tier 7 light tanks, and they would just circle me and kill me for all of my hit points. They would just absolutely shred me and it was there was nothing I could do about it so in return the, the tank it, it's not easy the turret speed if you get tracked you're in a lot of trouble 
So there, there is that. But at the same time, in the right positions with the side scraping capabilities that this tank has, the triple seven has, it, it can be good. But then with the one degree that it has lacking in the gun depression department, it's just extremely difficult to be able to get it rolling out and to get it to cause a lot of damage. Oh, and the fact that I made a giant mistake against that, uh, Sudoka. And thank you, Emil, too. You are a savior. And that Sudoka is still up and left, so let's see if we can try to get a peak shot. Highly doubt we'll be able to. Sixty TP. Hello. I do not want to run into you, or maybe I do. Maybe I do. Please don't be, don't don't be shooting premium. Oh please no. Oh no, oh no. Oh that was a premium. What no? Okay, it looks like he's on a reload. No, he's not. There's no way. No! Oh, it was a medium. He just came around the corner. Wait, what? Wasn't that the Sudoka? I'm so lost. No, it wasn't. The Sudoka left. Yes. Yes. The brain farts. They are indeed there. Well, yeah, going back to the garage. Overall, the triple seven, in my opinion, is just it, it's it's not meant to be driven fast. On PC, the gameplay inside this tank, people are getting in there. They're getting to really strong and aggressive positions inside the triple seven, and they're just going absolutely nuts. While here on console, we can barely pull out because of the turret traverse speed. It, it, they're just so many problems to this tank, and it just makes it extremely hard to play. You know, I'll give it some time. If I ever manage to get an Ace Mastery in this tank and I get it recorded, I'll make sure to put like an updated review or just throw that out there overall. But primarily, it's it just it's sad that they add a tank in. With this much on the tank being debuffed, the, the turret traverse speed, the gun depression, even the armor itself on this tank right now, since they did the increased penetrations, it, it just feels lacking. Same thing about the E75 and the sharpshooter right now, and the compound's a 50 ton. E75 used to bounce standards. Right off the faceplate. And now people can just shoot it in the face and it goes through. What do you think is going to happen to a tank that only has 258 armor in the front? I, I can give you a good idea what it will do. It it'll cause problems is what it will cause. And then right above it, 225. AP rounds readjust by 5 degrees. That doesn't look to me like may maybe a 10 degree angle there. But 225? Shoot it there. With standard rounds with 258 pin. Y you should rip right through it. Now, another thing that, well, ooh, boy, look at the ammo racks inside this. There's almost no covering these. If they go through your lower plate up in the front, or if they go through the top plate, or they shoot shoot the left side of the turret from the front with a high explosive, I've, I've watched turrets on these things pop off left and right. And right behind the turret, there's two ammo racks. So if you ever see this thing from the side, just aim to the furthest back part where the ammo rack would be located. And more than likely, you're going to damage it. Or aim further up in front, right in front of the turret on the side. It's like, these positions are so specific on where to shoot. That you can just fire away, and it, it's going to hurt. A lot. And I mean, a lot. Now, with the 777, there is one thing that is not bad about the tank. And that's got to be the rounds with the 258. 
premium pin and they, their travel speed is 940 the premium rounds 920 velocity they're not the fastest rounds but the thing is, is that it, it holds up well and with the 68 millimeters of pin on the high explosives you know if, if you have to go and do a haul down position and try to trade shots that this tank is it's not bad it, it, it'll hold up but the second you get rushed with that lacking turret traverse speed, you're, you're not going to be as responsive. You're going to have to angle your armor away from the enemy that you're trying to angle against in order to get a snapshot and someone trying to get around. Which allows the enemy to your right to go through your side armor or go through the side of your turret. So, yeah. Um, the Object 277, the 777. Do I like it? No. No, I do not. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the tank, but at the same time, I am. But right now, my opinion is very firm. I do not like it. I, I find it to be a, a little bit of a joke for what they added. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I know I did. I know that those two matches were just not the greatest to begin with. <laughs> we're going to have to redeem ourselves in a live stream one of these days. <laughs> so... Until then, if you guys like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I try my best to reply to every single comment you guys put out. And just know, if I don't reply to them, I just didn't see the potential of a conversation. Or if you guys want, get on our Discord, jump inside the live streams, kick back and have a conversation. That's seriously probably one of the best ways to get a hold of me too. Discord, especially, especially Discord. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. But um, messaging me on Xbox, I'm, I'm not a real big fan of replying to people on xbox especially whenever i jump on one day and i see 68 missed messages i'm just like holy crap what is this oh well let's go say hi to somebody well until next time i hope you guys have a wonderful day afternoon or night whatever time it is you're catching the video or even if you're catching it a year from now i i, I don't know and by the way the object 277 well Yep, see, we we did it. The triple seven, not the two seven seven, the triple seven. We're running with six cents rapid loading, born leader, gunsmith, because it's still broken, along with that steady aim to increase accuracy and snapshot to increase accuracy on the move, run and gun, track mechanic, and oh, we did not have rapid aim. Okay. Well, Probably when I have noticed that much of a difference. But with combining fuel and rapid aim, you can get your traverse speed up to 19.6. So I do recommend to do that just to give you a little bit of extra advantage on this tank. Other than that, catch you guys later. Enjoy your time.